parts, uh, for years we struggled with using high-end porcelains that fractured and gave us gas outs in our porcelain work. Bringing Ceramco 3 into our laboratory has really made our lives a lot better. Uh, it's a very simple system to use with high aesthetic results. In this world of dental laboratory technology, it's all about production, but also high aesthetics. And marrying those two things into a porcelain is like the best gift you could give someone that's a dental lab technician and works with porcelain every day. Uh, we have uh, four very distinct personalities in our lab. We have Joey, who is the production guy. Um, he is a posterior specialist. And my role here is to handle mainly posterior and under partial uh, PFMs. Ceramco 3 does good in all my cases, whether they're under partial, you know, matching the uh, denture department's teeth, or making a PFM crown. Well, the girls in the office, they tend to call me Papaw because I'm old and set in my ways, and I, I don't deviate a whole lot. My style of the restorations would be, it's all about the detail. So Michael is high aesthetic minded, so he does all the high end cases in our lab with Ceramco 3, the same porcelain that Joey uses. When I contour my interiors, I always put up my own little flare in them, whether it's um, creating uh, distinct incisal edges or uh, different um, developmental grooves. And, uh, the product features that help me the most from Ceramco 3 would be the color, the shades match right to the shade tabs. So it just makes it, when we get to the glazing process, we don't have to apply a lot of stain to get the shade correct. We also have a young son who's a delicate flower. She's, she's um, very soft-spoken, but she does very high aesthetic PFM work. And I do mostly interior cases. Uh, the Ceramco 3 is, I don't even have to put in too much layering it. It, uh, translucence is really, really good. Young Sung and I have the nickname of Thelma and Louise, so we're always getting into trouble. Uh, we have Jill who does our implant cases, and Jill has to have the strength of the porcelain and also the beauty and the vitality of what the porcelain offers. I'm an underbuilder because I build implants, and it's easier for me to get contacts on the second bake than it is on the first bake. Some people build precisely and they can have a one bake and without any grinding. That's nice if you can do it. Young Sun's a pretty precise builder. She does pretty well. Michael, he's definitely a precise builder. He has a tiny little brush and he puts it on precisely. Now Joey, on the other hand, is an overbuilder. He builds the crown like in a big block and he'll contour it. But the nice thing about Ceramco 3 is you can underbuild, overbuild, slap it on, and it always turns out good. Ceramco 3 came to our lab. We needed something that we could use to balance between production and aesthetic work. Uh, in today's laboratory business, you have to have that balance. And Image Dental Arts found that with Ceramco 3.